Hey guys, welcome back to the Project Pan. This is the January update video. I am very excited to tell you the progress, what all happened. So let's go. If you haven't checked the introduction, I would highly recommend you to check it. It will be linked in the first line of the description down below. So the first product was the Nika Prep Me Up Primer. Now my goal was for this was to completely finish it up. I would say I am very, very close. So today when I was applying this, I did use it, I would say like at least five to seven times this month and there is a very little amount left for it so i am hoping i'm very positive that this will go you know like finished in february because i was trying to squeeze out the product and it was barely coming so i feel like just a few more uses and this goal will be completed so for the foundation, we had the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Now, the goal with this one is to again completely finish. If you look at it, it feels like I have a lot of product, but that is far from the truth. I literally have to remove it, scrape it and then apply it on my face to see, you know, to get the foundation out. And there has been a significant progress in this. There is a very little amount of left. So I feel like again, by the end of uh, next month, this foundation will be completely gone and I have loved using it I have used this today as well on my face and I love how it looks on me so I had my fun of using this and I cannot wait to you know finish it up next month let's talk about the concealer I did use it quite a few times we have the Maybelline fit me concealer I do see a little bit of windowing happening on this one but I don't feel like it is going to get finished in the month of February because I feel like there is still like you know this much of product left so it's gonna take a few like one or maybe two more months for this to like get finished it up but i definitely know that this is going to be emptied but yeah i am loving the progress i have used this most of the times this month let's talk about no progress for a while i am talking about the maybelline fit me loose powder i have used this literally like most of the times i take a brush and i just you know swirl it around my face after like i'm done with my base i cannot see any difference because it is a powder it's gonna take a while and that's okay but uh, yeah that was the update for the fit me loose powder anyways let's talk about the exciting things so i have my swiss beauty concealer this is a bit darker in shade i use this sometimes for contouring or even eyeshadow luckily this shade fit the perfect for my mom uh, you know for her skin tone so i sometimes use this on her face you know to conceal her under eyes and all of that so i'm kind of using that and one great thing which i saw this month was that there is a windowing happening which is great because you know that shows that okay this product is getting used and uh, i won't lose hopes on this so that was a really good uh, news i would say but i'm hoping you know it would take a few months for this for me to finish this product i would say up like up to three to four more months or even more than that to see a complete difference in this next up i thought that this product would show no progress whatsoever but i was wrong i'm talking about the swiss beauty uh, drop and glow so this is a liquid highlighter now in the start it was up until here and right now if i just kept this just like this on my vanity i would see that there is this line happening I'm not sure if you can see it right here, but there is this line happening. So I have been using this. I've been mixing it. I've been using it as a highlighter and it has been, you know, uh, looking really good and it is getting, you know, finished. One thing which happened was that the dropper has just, you know, doesn't work. As you can see, like literally it does not work. So that was a bummer. But other than that, I feel happy because I can see like a layer. So that kind of motivates me to use this product more. And again, I would say like this would easily take like six months or more to get finished but i am happy uh, that the progress is seen somewhat next up let's talk about the uh, face shop water fix tint fit tint sorry uh, i my goal for this one was to you know empty this out i have seen a progress last month i was you know like nothing was seen there was no progress seen like a visible one and right now there is a visible progress scene like literally you can see the clear lining just right here and i do apply this as my blusher and it looks really really good and i'm also going to travel in the month of february so i might take this with me and not just you know uh, just you know take more products so i feel like if i take this while traveling people will use it i will use it and you know the goal i feel like the goal is seen so which is also making me very very happy about this next up let's talk about no goal again i have the uh, wet and wild white kajal 
I just sharpened it. It wasn't sharpened and I see no progress because I have barely used it. There are very less times when I wear like white kajal. But yeah, my goal for this is to at least, you know, finish up till here, like, you know, here, like finish it up till halfway at least and then see. But again, I feel like this is going to take a few more months, maybe like six to eight months to see the difference. So let's see if I use it in the next few months or not. Next up, let's talk about the gel liner. We had the uh, Nika uh, gel liner. I use this quite a lot because I had a specific black look which I did for my Instagram. So for that I used a lot. It does not look like I have used this a lot. Uh, you will see it in the before and after clips but um, for my surprise yes I used it a lot but it is not getting finished. So that is a bit of a okay I know that this product is going to give me trouble while finishing it. My goal for this one was to hit a pan on this. so. Let's see how many months it takes. I have, I am using this. It's not like I've gotten bored of this product. But yeah, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be a very hard target for me to complete. Lastly, one of the most hardest target for me to complete is the My Glam uh, lipstick. Again, this is not my particular shade of choice. And this is like, not like, yeah, I've used this lipstick for like three times this month. And I do not like it and I have to finish this much of it. And my target is to completely finish it. Let's see what happens. But I, I don't want to get bored of the shade. But again, I do not reach out for such warm tone shades in general. So let's see how long it takes. But again, this is a very difficult one. So I actually forgot to show the pan of the eyeshadow. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a usage over here and on this one as well so my goal for this palette was to use any two shades and hit a pan on these so i'm kind of focusing on this 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 and this these are the four shades i've used most the this month so i do see a usage here i use these two shades almost every single day so let's see how it goes and lastly let's talk about the mascara uh, i am wearing this on a every single day kind of usage it is not getting dried out so i feel like until and unless it gets dried out i'm gonna use it then i'm just gonna replace it with some other mascara so that was the update for the project pan uh, january update let me know your thoughts which other products have you panned have you like reached your goal let me know in the comments down below i love to do these and read your comments i read them on share jane's as well and there are so many amazing people who are you know focusing on project pan which is something which we should all focus on so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to like share subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye